am not singing this. What's not to like? You're a female and you're a teenager. This song was made for you. Wow, it's like you can see inside my tiny teenage mind. I know, right? You just got to add some moves and a little bit of... Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Poor girl. Okay, so that was a clip from <laughs> Sing, one of the newest movies to hit theaters. I think I think she was a hedgehog or something. Yeah, Porcupine. Porcupine. Should, 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 you, that. should you head to the theater to sing Carly Rae Jepsen with Matthew McConaughey and a fuzzy koala bear? As a fuzzy koala bear. He is yeah. a fuzzy koala bear. Yeah, and Here a great one, too. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Here with the Loper Report is Will. Thanks for coming in the day after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. There's always movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Christmas weekend is a big one for movies. So, you know, for better or worse, Sing is exactly the movie it looks like. <laughs> it's a hundred minutes of animated animals singing pop songs. Now, yes, there is a little bit of story, but you know, it's mostly pigs in leotards singing Taylor Swift and Lady <laughs> Gaga. Yeah. Yeah, so, what yeah. more do you need? Yes. So, Matthew McConaughey, he voices uh, the koala, as you saw there, Buster Moon. To inject some life into the theater he owns, he stages a singing competition for animals all over the city, and they all show up. It's Noah's Ark meets American Idol. <laughs> so Buster, he whittles it down to our main characters. We got a stay-at-home mom pig, voiced by Reese Witherspoon, Scarlett Johansson as a punk porcupine, a mouse, voiced by Seth MacFarlane, an elephant, and a gorilla. Now, if that sounds like a lot, it is. The movie jumps between all of these characters, and you know, it sort of becomes weighed down by all the storylines. There's just there's too many. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there is plenty catchy songs and one uh, Nesun Dorma opera that the movie will entertain the, until the end. So kids especially are going to enjoy the non-stop gags. But, you know, ultimately it's really just a quick, easily digestible entertainment. So is this a movie that's worth us taking our cousins to? What's the rating? I, I think so. I think three out of five. Uh, Shakira as the gazelle from Zootopia. 2016 was really the year for singing animated animals if you also take the Jungle Book into account. True that. So, yes. yes, yes. Well, I told you the story earlier about my four-year-old yes. cousin. She hasn't even seen the movie yet and she was just yeah. loving the... Um, <laughs> oh my God, look at her butt. Yes, yes, Line absolutely. Line from Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yeah, many songs will be stuck in your head after seeing this movie. There you go. Yeah. So next up, Passengers, right? Yes. So this is Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. They wake up 90 years early. It's um, no dinosaurs here, no Hunger Games. Instead, the two are on a ship with 5,000 other people headed toward a new planet Earth. Now, the journey takes 120 years. They wake up 90 years early. The question of the movie is, why did they wake up? and can they fix their situation? So the movie sort of unravels that mystery. Now, both Pratt and Lawrence are as enjoyable as ever. The movie keeps things moving along nicely. Now, no, this isn't the next 2001 A Space Odyssey, but, you know, it's great, just sort of sci-fi light that will entertain you. So don't look for something deep, but... Good-looking people in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Very good-looking people, yes. <laughs> jawline on Chris Pratt. I, I, tell I, you. I knew you were going to make a Chris Pratt comment there. Oh, now goodness. The Rock or Chris Pratt here? Oh, boy. Well, The Rock. Yeah, sing. I know. I know. He can sing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's the rating? 3.1 Roombas out of 5. The ship uh, has, has these little guys keeping the ship clean for 120 oh. years, uh, and Chris Pratt even befriends a couple. So I would, too, if they cleaned the ship for 120 years for me. you got to make friends with somebody when <laughs> right, you're all well, alone. Right, well, that's also yeah. true. So what's up next week? We've got uh, Hidden Figures. This is an incredible truth story of three women who worked yeah. at NASA and faced discrimination. I'm really so, looking forward to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am it's, too. It's good. It's gotten some great reviews yes. too, I think. Yes, absolutely. It has. Good stuff. Well, yep. well thanks so much. We'll yep. see you next week. Thank you.